Hey up everybody, I'm moving on to the next instalment of my steam driven water pump that I'm uh, building. So without any further ado then we'll crack on with this. I left off last time where I've just, just made this top cylinder cap or cover item 3 so what I've got to do now then I've got to put 6 holes in 3 30 seconds diameter on an inch PCD then I've got to put that slot in a 9 30 second slot 1 16th deep and then once I've done done that I'm going to move on to these other covers here while I've got my, div uh, my rotary table set up because all these other holes are on a one inch PCD so I should be able to transfer everything over onto rotary table while it's set up So I've done that cover, that was the one I shown you last, I'm doing these two now, there's two, item 4 and item 4A. Uh, the difference between these two is one's got, one's got a half inch spigot on, the other's got a three quarter inch spigot and one's got uh, which what is it a groove this cut out is only on item 4 so where I'm up to then uh, I've got the spigot done I've got to put a number 19 drill in now so anybody that's not familiar with number drills so on my chart where are we number 19 is 0.166 and the nearest to it is in metric is 4.2 now I've got that number 19 drill hole finished and now while my milling machine set up for one inch um, pitch turtle I'm going to do both these other cover plates and then there's this one to do after that just in case I didn't quite catch that when I was on the lathe uh, a number 19 drill is 0.166 thousandths diameter and the equivalent is 4.2 millimeter which is 1.1654 so it's less than a thousandth difference that I mean if you want to go to expense of going and buy number drills and letter drills fair enough but you know there's always a, a metric equivalent
Right, let's have a little bit of an update then. I've got all the holes drilled on one inch pitch shirtle diameter. I've got the slot put in and this this one has got to be done exactly the same except it's got to have a half inch spigot instead of a three quarter. It shows you on the drawing here, look, item four, three quarter, item four A, half inch. So this is item four, this is item four A. So I'm going to repeat this process with a half inch spigot. Now as for this cutout on item four, which is this one, it shows you this cutout offset to the centre line, but there's no dimensions to tell you where to put it. So obviously that cutout's got to miss something on the on the finished pump or the finished cylinder, whichever. Uh, I don't know yet what it's got to miss, so I'll, I'm going to leave that and then I'll carefully file that in once I know what it's got to miss. I uh, just forgot to mention, don't forget to do these two holes in the flange while it's set up in the rotary table. Uh, they're on inch and five eighth centres. And it's a number 30 drill which is 3.3 millimetre. So I'm gripping on this spigot now at the back and it's only 5 64ths long that spigot if you want that in metric that's approximately 2 millimetre to grip on so you've got to be careful when you're taking these skimming cuts to skim this face up so I've got this width down to 3 16ths now and I'm now ready for putting the counterbore in the reverse side where the stalk was for the land o-ring so looking at drawing then, it's a 0 0.290 diameter by 330 seconds deep counterbore. And once I've put this counterbore in for the gland o-ring on both of them, I'm back in milling machine to put two 10BA tapping size holes in at 7 16 centres. So I'm having to go back in milling machine because I'm doing it on the reverse side from what I was working on. Uh, it's the side where the stalk was, wh what I was gripping on. Right, item three then, that's the steam top steam cylinder cover, that's complete. Item four is the bottom steam cylinder cover, which is that the one with the three quarter spigot, that's complete, except it says there's a cutout on one of the flanges there on I don't know which side yet and I don't know what the cutouts for like I said earlier on there's no dimensions been given to put that cut out in it's it's definitely offset from the center line but there's no measurements so that'll be for later item 4a is complete that's the one with the half inch spigot and then item 5 no item six that's complete that's the the bottom cover of the pump base so it'll sit on that so my next job then really before I can't move on to the cylinders just yet because I need the valve chest to to uh, 
determine where the holes are in the face of the cylinder and I can't do the valve chest until I've done item 14 over here because that's required to do the holes in the side of the valve chest as a, you use that as a template to do those holes so probably move on to this one next so uh, I think that's it for this one then uh, yeah I'll call it today for this one anyway if you found that useful and interesting uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I'd appreciate that and I'll catch you next time then thanks for watching bye for now